Welcome to the Gun Channel, my name is Mike. Today's video is going to be about elastic belly band holsters. I have an offering from Comfort Attack as well as Clip and Carry. I also messed around with just using my EDC belt and one of my photography bags, but more about that later. Each one has its pros and cons and I'll give you my recommendations at the end of the video. The purpose of these devices and others like them is to be able to carry your firearm without your typical pants and shirt setup that you would normally wear with your everyday carry. These two products lean towards concealed carry versus off-body carry. Off-body carry meaning hidden in plain sight. These would be great whether you're out for a run or just wearing workout clothes in general and you want to be able to carry your firearm. Or like me, you like to go to the yoga studio packing lots of heat. Because you know how shit gets out of hand at yoga studios sometimes. You know what I'm talking about. Both of these belts come with an option to add an extra bag pouch. These are not friendly for concealed carry. However, if you don't give a shit about printing, then there's that nice option to have. This first belt is made by Comfort Tech. This guy's a stretchy cummerbund type device that works a lot like a back brace might with added features to hold a gun. This cummerbund or belly band is designed to be used without a holster. The one I'll show you next does use a holster, however this one does not. This is a P365XL, a subcompact 9mm with a TLR7 sub light. This belly band seems to be designed for guns without lights. I'm not knocking it for that, in fact, I did run this gun without the light on it in this belly band quite a few times during my testing. This is the Ruger LCP2, a little mouse gun chambered in 380 with obviously no light. This product comes in at $30 and is quite comfortable. The first hiccup I noticed was accessibility. I'm going to be using these four criteria. Number one is safety, and number two is accessibility and rapid deployment function, and number three is reholstering, and number four is everything else, is user specific, user requirement, user preference needs. So everybody's situation is gonna be different. So number four is basically everything else. The weapon fits in nice and secure. However, accessing it for like rapid deployment or in case of being ambushed, it's kind of a deal breaker. It has a retention strap that is intuitive enough to remove without training. However, if you try to do this with one hand, nine times out of 10, it will restrict your draw. If you come up with a system to get the gun out successfully that you think you can do under a high stress emergency situation, then you're still left with not getting a very good purchase on the grip. There's a lot of material around this gun which helps with comfort, but destroys the ability to get a good clean grip around the firearm. For that reason, I was really uncomfortable with starting with the gun loaded. My first experience was trying to grab the gun like I'm used to and just pull it straight from the holster. So to deploy the gun, I kind of needed to do this fine motor skill and get it out and then charge the weapon and then engage. Not super excited about that experience, but I have to stay open-minded. I want to try to carry the gun in a different way. So, but I made myself nauseous trying to reinsert this loaded gun given the design and the material of this uh, belly band. Now combine that with a retention design that gets in the way under normal drawing situations. Hard to get a good purchase on the grip and while trying to draw it from the holster or from the belly band and having a live weapon while doing so. It violates my first three criteria. It makes it really hard for me to recommend this belt as much as I wanted to love it. On a personal note, I think this belt perpetuates a false sense of security. A false sense of security of having a gun on you makes you safe without being able to deploy it in a high stress situation. So I think that's a, a common tr uh, problem we have in the self-defense community regards to firearms. If I have a gun in the house, then I'm safe. Or if I have a gun on me or in my purse or my car, then I'm safe without actually doing the training and seeing how hard it is to actually deploy it and get that firearm into the fight. I'm sure I'll talk more about this in my closing thoughts and I can probably see some situations where using this belt and a firearm is still better than nothing. Moving into our next belly band or cummerbund, whatever the hell these things are called. This is a clip and carry and it comes in at $30 as well. However, you will need to supply a holster. This holster was made by CQC. You can get a discount if you go over to closequarterscarry.com and then use the promo code thegunchannelpatriot, all one word. This guy is designed to receive a holster. This solves several problems from the first offering I just showed you. If you already have a holster, then this is an easy upgrade. If you don't have a holster yet, then that would be a consideration for this particular option. It clips in really securely and it feels really, really stable. I like the way this feels right off the bat, much better than the first one. 
It has this ratcheting kind of Velcro design that feels really, really good. You can kind of ratchet it in on your waist area. I should note that it does not really stretch or flex like the first belt I show you. So this is not stretchy. It's sort of just a solid piece of uh, webbing or banding. This is pretty cool. You simply put your gun in your holster and you clip it in like you normally would if you were carrying an appendix style, for example, like me. So it has a very similar feel to what you might be doing already for your everyday carry in your regular clothes. But you can utilize that same concept while wearing shorts or workout clothes or something without belt loops. It's reasonably comfortable and it's reasonably concealable depending on the size of your firearm. And this is a Ruger LCP Mark II, a popular little 380 mouse gun, and it's popular for obvious reasons. Back to my first criteria of having to be extremely safe carrying a loaded firearm. I would have no problem loading a firearm and carrying it in this way. I mean, I'm actually using my holster, so what's the problem, right? Also, the belly band system has enough space to allow for having a weapon light on your pistol, which could be pretty great if you're going to be utilizing something like this at night or the dark place. Darkness, meaning the absence of light. Definition for you. There's a lot of material around the grip of the weapon, which I don't love. While that helps with comfort, like I mentioned before, while wearing it, it does get in the way of getting a good purchase on the grip. So I ended up with my uh, FU finger, whatever that finger's called, and my thumb trying to get the weapon out of the holster, and it usually leaves me with a pretty shitty grip. Don't love that either which has me needing to reposition my grip in order to feel comfortable before shooting it. So that's certainly gonna take a small hit on rapid deployment and safety, but still leaves me feeling fairly comfortable with having pretty good access to my firearm using this system. So for the first belt, the Comfort Tech, I can't really recommend it. It's very comfortable, but in the way I wanna use it, it feels very unsafe. It's not great for rapid deployment and reholstering it makes me literally nauseous. <laughs> Uh, just trying not to shoot my dick off putting it back in. The second belt, Clip and Carry, resolves some of those issues as long as you're willing to add a holster to the system. And on that note, it got me thinking, what if I just use my everyday carry belt, the one I just normally wear and just don't put it through any belt loops? Fuck the world, you know? Or like, screw you capitalism, can't get me to buy another thing from Amazon and then send it back. And this system works pretty damn good. It feels super safe, it's easy to rapid deploy, it's great for reholstering. However, you are gonna take a hit on that comfort. If I had to, I could see making the clip and carry belt work by um, maybe altering some of the fabric and redesigning it, getting my sewing kit out, or adjusting the ride height of my holster or getting another dedicated holster that I set up just for that belt system. So certainly an option. And then on that note, I, I, I'd be remiss if I didn't bring up the importance of which weapon you choose to carry. So I understand the P365 XL is pretty big on my body. I'm a small guy. Uh, and then the little 380 would be a much more convenient uh, weapon system for me to carry around running. I do mess around with some off-body carry at times. And here's a sample of just carrying a simple camera bag. So you can always just throw your handgun that's in a nice holster into any carry bag you might have, uh, whether it be a backpack or something like this. But if you do this, it can come with a chance of problem accessing the firearm or getting into the bag under a high stress situation can be a problem. Drawing the weapon, how you're gonna manage the holster, whether you're gonna have it holstered or not, or just carry the gun unloaded and then try to charge the weapon after you get it from your bag. Uh, Reholstering, you know, you gotta just go out and shoot and try your system and see how catastrophically it fails like this example. So in closing, I'm going to send both of these guys back and continue my search for the best way for me to carry a firearm, whether it be off body or on body, wearing workout clothes, like I said, so when I go to yoga, I can be packing some heat. I think if I were just gonna go out and just be running, I'd probably look closely into those really tight chest rigs, um, and I know they have um, just great jogging chest rigs. I could have a, a firearm on me with slow access, and I'm sure that there's a ton of companies out there that make a rapid deployment option for that. And on that note, if you guys do me a favor and um, throw some comments below, send me some of um, some recommendations you might have, either um, so I can check them out and go and research it, and also for the rest of the Gun Channel community can go down into the comments below and do their own research as well. So I'll be looking at a couple of different options for off-body carry um, with access to rapid deployment and on-body carry, some more belly bands. And, and again, if you guys know any good companies or different products out there for belly band stuff that I might not be aware of, please let me know. And as always, I'd like to invite you to come and visit us at the next Patriot Games. More information on that at thepatriotgames.us. Whether you want to compete, uh, where you want to just come and spectate and have fun and hang out with us, 
um, or even volunteer so you can better understand what's going on out there. So yeah, the PatriotGames.us for that. We're traveling all over the state of Florida and we're also booking stuff outside of the state. So we're going national, bitches. So that's nice. So I think that wraps up this video. Thanks for hanging out with me. My name is Mike. You're at the Gun Channel. We'll see you soon. We just opened up an online store for some Gun Channel swag. Swing on over there to find yourself a mug, especially for you guys and gals that like banging silhouettes in the morning. Personally me, I'm gonna go for the red. We have a variety of different regular shirts in a few different colors, long sleeve, short sleeve, and I'm really digging this pullover hoodie. So to support the Gun Channel, consider swinging by and grabbing some swag.